Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everybody. We're still in Chapter 9 for Accounting for Non-Current Asset. We have learned about the definition as well as how to compute and record the cost of this asset. Now, we are going to continue the discussion in the subtopics in Non-Current Asset that is depreciation. So, are you ready? Now, let us read the definition for depreciation. According to FRS 116, depreciation is defined as the systematic allocation of the depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life. So, we will generalize it or record it as debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation. From previous slide, there are two accounts involved in recording the depreciation. Let us go through what is the concept behind it. Okay, depreciation expense is to declare the depreciation expense for current year. So we debit it and we report it in profit or loss statement as expenses. Whereas the accumulated depreciation is a contra to fees asset account. So we credit the accumulated depreciation and we report it in financial position statement as fixed asset. So we report the depreciation expense in profit or loss statement as an extract because we just write this part of the statement. And this is an example on how we report the accumulated depreciation in financial position statement. Okay, now let us proceed to the basis in calculate the depreciation. Students, you have to be more focused because understanding this basis is vital in calculating the depreciation after this. We have two basis that are monthly and yearly basis. In monthly basis, it's quite detailed in calculate the depreciation because it depends on the date in the current purchasing month. If we buy or purchase the fixed asset any date from 1 to 15 in that particular month, so we declare is one month depreciation. Okay? And if we sell the fixed asset from the date okay, from the date 16th until the 12th or 31st, the full month depreciation also declared in that particular month. In yearly basis, it is quite easy because we will declare the depreciation full amount in the purchase year regardless of the date and month. And there is no depreciation declared on the selling year. Now, we come to the methods of depreciation. We are going to learn about two methods in calculating the depreciation. So, in this slot, I will only focus on the first method and the easiest one, that is straight line. This method is about how we allocate the amount of depreciation equally for each year until end of its useful life. So, we will use this formula. Yearly basis, we will have cost minus residual value or we call it as a scrap value or salvage value. Okay. Our useful life. Or we can also use the second formula that is percentage of depreciation times cost minus residual value. This is the example on the straight line method. Okay, a machine has been purchased on 1st January 2019. The cost of the asset is 130,000 ringgit. Residual values is 10,000 ringgit and useful life is 10 years. You are required to calculate depreciation expense at December 31st, 2019. And you also have to prepare the general entry as well as the depreciation expense account and accumulated depreciation account. 
So, let us do together to answer the A question. So, depreciation expense yearly is you take the cost minus the residual values and over 10 years and it you use food life. So, we get 12,000 ringgit. The answer for B is we debit the depreciation expense machine as our fixed asset 12,000 and credit accumulated depreciation machine 12,000 on December 31st. And don't forget to write the explanation, record depreciation on machine. And C, to draw the account for depreciation and accumulated depreciation. So uh, we go through the depreciation expense machine. So just put the double entry for um, depreciation expense that is accumulated depreciation on the debit side, 12,000. And at the end of accounting period, we will uh, post it into income statement um, for amount 12,000. And then we open the accumulated depreciation for machine. So using the double entry, accumulated depreciation is dated on credit side. So the double entry is the uh, depreciation expense, 12,000, and at uh, the end of accounting period, we will have the balance, also 12,000. This is an example on how we report the accumulated depreciation in the financial position statement. Okay, let us compare the amount of depreciation expense when using the monthly basis as well as the yearly basis. We will use the example on the previous slide. So, with monthly basis, if an asset purchase on January 20th, 2019, so using the monthly basis, we only calculate depreciation between February to December. So, only 11 months from that year. So, depreciation expense is 11,000. Whereas in yearly basis, depreciation is calculated for the full year of purchase. So, the depreciation expense is 12,000. The difference amount 1,000 ringgit because of the basis using in calculating the depreciation. We come to the end of the slide, but we are not finished yet. We will see you back on the next presentation.